My name is Gabe, and I've had the honor of recently reading The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin, and I have the honor of saying that my opinion of this book is mostly positive, which is a nice change of pace for me, actually. The big reason I wanted to talk about it is, you may have noticed that I recently reviewed a book called The Minders, and that book did this whole multi-story multi thing where it tells several different related stories in one book. But it did it horribly. The Immortalist, however, and I am so happy to say this, does it very well. To compare it to The Minders, it does it in a few ways. Number one, it isn't held down by a sci-fi or fantasy concept. Well, the book's premise, I should get into now, is that these four children, as children, go visit a fortune teller who tells them the day they are going to die. Each of them. Different days. But it's never made clear whether that's supernatural or just a coincidence, when it does turn out to be true. But what the book does, and this is about, is how each of them react to that information. How each of them handle it. And it varies from trying to live their lives really fast, to being overly cautious, and many things in between. Yet, despite being different stories from different perspectives, they remain interconnected. I think it does this with a few key methods. Number one, it it sticks from one story to beginning to end before moving on to the next. You will you will see one of their perspectives until the end of their perspective before moving on, which allows for the reader to feel more of a connection. Number two, the stories remain connected ever so through. In The Minders, no side character in one story ever showed up in another, which made it feel like what I was reading was completely separate. In this, though, the cast of each story is interchangeable. They, sh they show up, they're involved, and they're relevant, to the point where a minor character in one story plays a major role in another. And that happens several times. It makes it feel like that reading everything together is worth it. Number three, this book has no villains. No one, every character in this book feels sympathetic. Whilst there are some people who you may say, mm, this isn't the best way to approach the situation you find yourself in, I never found myself going, I hate you, you're a horrible person. Every character in this book is, at worst, misguided. In fact, no one is perfect in the book altogether. And it makes me, as the reader, want to see everyone succeed. And finally, the problems touched on in this book are real. They are problems that maybe not to the same extent you and I and everyone else in this world probably experiences to some degree. We all feel pressured to do things fast or scared to move forward. And this book shows the extremes that the conditions can lead to. And for all these reasons and more, this is a really good read. And I can easily recommend it. Apparently some stuff behind the scenes about a TV show going on. If the TV show gets made, I'll talk about it. But either way, that's it for this one. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more like it, do subscribe. But more importantly than anything else, have a good night.